For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. 2 Corinthians 10 verses 3 to 5 Breaking it down Verse 3 of our reading shows that our spiritual warfare is to stand fast and hold fast to the word of truth. 2 Timothy 1 verse 13 states, We are to hold fast the form of sound words, which thou hast heard of me, in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. Titus 1 verse 9 similarly notes, Holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. And we know that our war is with spiritual wickedness, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians 6 verse 12 Verse 4 of our reading shows that our weapons are spiritual. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 7 notes that by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, are our weapons forged. Verse 5 of our reading notes that we are to be spiritually ready for war. We wage such war by casting down imaginations. Romans 1 verses 21 to 22. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 6 1 Timothy 6 verse 20. The things cast down are high things, walls, barriers, authority, hindrances. 1 Corinthians 1 19. 27 to 29, 319, as well as whatever exalts itself against, outright lies, non-truths, alt facts, fake news, Colossians 2 verses 8 to 10. And we do this by having the knowledge of God, and we get this knowledge through rightly divided study of the word of God, Colossians 2 verse 3. As a result of rested belief in the knowledge of the word, we are bringing into captivity every thought. The law can't fight this fight, Romans 7, 23, 8, 3-5. There are a lot of scripture references here, but these are necessary, always necessary. The key thing to note in all of this is how important being able to rightly divide. The word is to being victorious in anything as a believer. Otherwise, you will not bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Spend time in the Word and start learning to rightly divide. Rested belief slash knowledge of the Word of Truth is the believer's weapon for spiritual warfare. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.